One nine they coop, sub nine and then shine they coop. Up time is inside their booth. What's happening? Yeah. Shit, y'all know we back. We gotta. It's a lot to deal with. It's a lot to discuss. It's a lot to talk about on a regular basis every day. So I wanna welcome you back to the bigger play where the rubber meets the road and we get straight to it. You did? We get straight to it when the rubber meets the road. So today, I wanna deal with why are so many people single? Big time. Yeah, yeah. I was on the phone having a conversation and they got this thing called selling. A lot of people don't want to settle, right? She don't want to settle for him. The reality is you're going to settle. That's just a reality. You just got to find the person that you're comfortable selling with. But because there's a lot of delusion that exists in the world, a lot of people don't, they be like, I ain't selling. I ain't accepting that. I asked somebody today. I said, can he cheat? No. Can he be abusive? No. Can he be broke? No. Can he be non-communicative? No. Can he be emotionless? No. Everything was no. I was like, you really want somebody that's perfect. They was like, no, I don't. I put up a post. A young, a young black lady was like, black men are exhausted. I'm just so tired of black men. I got 1% left in my heart for the black man. I'm really just through. I'm so sick. I'm over it. And I'm like, well, ma'am, what black man are you choosing? Where is your accountability at? Because what about the women that's married? What about the women that's getting the results that they are looking for? And you're not. Why aren't you getting those results? That's where accountability comes from. You can't cry about the results you're not getting. As if the universe and God has forsaken you when he's blessed this young lady with a beautiful union. Or he blessed her with something that she realized... I'm with him. He realized I'm with her. And they fight through it. And they make it. And they got a beautiful union. But here it is. You upset because you're not getting the results that you want. Why are you not getting the results? Because all black men, are, you, she said, black, I'm getting tired of black men. I'm exhausted. They are draining. Uh, those are the ones you picking because it's a plethora of women out here getting the results that they want. But a person will argue with me down in the comments back and forth because they don't want to take accountability. You single because a lot of people say I'm single because I choose to be single. I don't want to cap. If you want to be in a relationship and you're not in a relationship that you want to be in and you single, it's a result of you. If you want to be in a relationship, it's there for you. God and the universe haven't forsaken you. God hasn't forsaken you. He loves you. There's an energy there that you can have what you want. However, you're not taking accountability, so you're single. Men, a lot of men are single. I'm going to tell you why a lot of men are single. Because the majority of women want the same man, which this man that's single is not. So he's not single by choice. He's single because he's not on a certain level where the world is promoting the man need to be on. This I make a hundred, he need to make a hundred thousand, he need to be six. Cap. That's all cap. So as a result, he getting passed over. See? He getting passed over. And he's being misguided and misled because it's too much. No, I don't want him. He don't look a certain way. He not tall enough. He this, he that. It's a lot of, he don't make enough money. So all the women want this percentage of the men. So it's 90% of them. When a woman get on a TV show and say, man, what's your, what do your man have to make? He had to make 75,000. Well, if 75% of the men that's in the job, in the workforce, don't make that money, guess what she just did? She just knocked out 75% of the men because of vanity and shallowness. Not, can he protect me? Not, is he going to be a good representation of what a man is supposed to be? Not, is he got good character? Not, is he spiritually connected to God? All these things is out the window. 
That's why you single. The man's single because he being overlooked. Or he's saying, well, I'm not mature enough to be in a relationship right now that's going to be constructive. So he's making a choice to say, boom. But you single because you, your shallowness and your vanity. And I know it's probably hard for you to, because uh, he talking about women. He this. He no. It's a reality to what I'm saying, but you're not choosing to listen because you can't get about your feelings. See, this going to go a long way. This is what it's going to be because I'm keeping it real. Ain't no chastising, ain't no capping. I know some decent guys that get looked over because they ain't riding right. Because they, they might not be dressing a certain type of way. And they ain't making a certain amount of money. But they're a decent human being and they would love to be with you. But because you feel like they ain't equally yoked with you and ain't on your level because of monetariness and shallowness, you will overlook 75% of the man when you get on there. If you say 60,000, you overlooking 60% of the man. When you say 100,000, you overlooking 90% of the men. So y'all are all focused on this one small amount of men and you want him to be a certain way with the options of having access to thousands and thousands of women that want him, but you don't want him to want a small percentage of them and make them mistake that. Mm. This is why so many people are single. Because people are not, the game is changing and people not, are not looking in the mirror, taking into account, what am I doing to facilitate a beautiful union? What am I doing to compromise a beautiful union being facilitated. They not doing that. It's so much power and influence you have as a respectful, beautiful, calm, cool, collected, spiritual, nice, feminine, in shape young lady that anybody will be willing to. But I said several different things that a person will be like, nah, which compromises you. And you knocking down all these gentlemen, this is a reality. So as a result, you look up and you will say, well, black men is this. Black men is that. Black men. Black. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of. Well, Beverly got results. Jamaica got results. Tamia got results. Sherelle got results. Beyonce got results. Kelly Rowland got results. I know you'll go in on Ashanti, but she got results. You're not getting results. It's a level of self-reflection got to take place because God does have some beautiful women and some beautiful men out there. But when you're living in a world where they overshadow you with all this shallowness and, and this superficiality, you could become compromised to a point where you're looking down on him because he's not on your level. When in actuality, that's the highest you're going <laughs> to mm. 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 See, it's a reality to this thing. And there's so many people that don't want to accept that. But the reality is when you look back and you start to see things for what they truly are, you're going to have to say to yourself, you know what? Maybe I did go at that wrong, and maybe that's why I didn't get those results. How about I try it like this? Believe you me, you have the power to have the person that you want and the energy you want if you're being realistic with yourself. If you look at the thing and say to yourself, I'm going to go at it like this, I'm going to commit to this, and I'm going to give... I'm going to not be so shallow. I'm going to not be so vain. And I'm going to give this young man a chance to entertain me. And I'm going to lay some boundaries down. And I'm going to see, is he willing to respect those boundaries? And it's so sad that the guys that are that guy or those guys, they get overlooked. And I just gave you several different examples of why and how those guys get overlooked. So if you want to know why so much... Why so many people are single? This is why. Because you have a power. The woman has the power to facilitate who accesses, accesses her womb. 
The man has the power to facilitate if I want to be with this woman for the rest of my life. So the person that's initiate, initiating that, that immediate union is the woman. Because I can't get access to your womb without you giving it to me. And if you carry it a certain way and you and I'm re being a certain way towards you, I ain't got no choice but to be like, oh, okay, I see what she on. I ain't got no choice but to respect you because you're carrying it like that. But when you get out here and you get on these shows and you get on this tool and you get on these social media sites and you say, if he ain't making 100000 I don't want him, you just knock down 90% of the guys. For 10%. And there's so many people doing that. Here's what it is. Well, he can make 70, but he got to be six feet tall. Well, he can be short, but he got to make 75,000. Well, he could be this, he could be that, but he can't do this. <sighs> Reality crazy. And it's going to be... Uh, reality check when you have to do a self-reflection and, and do an account of what your outcomes are. If you want these things, easy to get. I gave you several different reasons on how to get them. We don't... I, real men, most men, we don't want to argue. We don't want to fight. You don't have to deal with a guy that's dealing with a certain level of trauma to where if you don't want to be with him, he cursing you out. That's another narrative they paint like men can't deal with rejection. Men been dealing with rejection our whole life. We just respectfully bow out. It's nothing. Or we say, let me elevate my position in life to get the woman I want. If, if that's the woman I want and if that's what she want, let me elevate myself. But by the time, it's a possibility, by the time he get to elevating himself to that position, he like, man, what I once wanted, what the woman wanted from me, that didn't change. Now, I just want a genuine person now. I don't care about the vanity. It ain't, think about this. If she wants you to be riding in something special, you work your way up, you're making this amount of money, you could buy something special. So is she really with you or is she really with the... With the things that you appear in a, to be able to provide. This is why so many people sing. Initially, why so many women are saying. These are facts. And I know the truth hurt. But it's still the truth. Until next time, bigger play.